All right, this video is on work turn-in and feedback. So your work week starts every Wednesday. So after our initial meeting, your homework will be assigned and then you have the whole week to work on it. And then it's due the following Wednesday by 8 a.m. It's usually gonna be due via the assignment in La Lima and then also posted to your personal course website, okay? Additionally, there are days that we have peer critiques and you will be posting your work online via La Lima class discussions. And on those days, you'll have until 11.55 p.m. to critique the work of your peers, okay? Late assignments, they'll only be accepted until the following day until noon, but they'll be docked one point. And on those, while I will go in and grade your assignment and give you credit for it with the late penalty, feedback will only be given when time permits. Now receiving feedback, there's gonna be multiple ways that you receive feedback. Like you might get it in writing in La Lima. You might get it as part of your peers critique in La Lima discussions. You might get it in an in-person critique when we meet with other guest critics that critique your work in person. And then also pretty much weekly via your 15 minute Skype sessions with me, the instructor, okay? The type of feedback that you'll receive on your homework submission will be noted in the schedule. Okay, but if you want a summary, you can click here and it'll give you a list of the different types of feedback that you'll be getting and on which days uh, in case you need to coordinate with your work schedule, okay? So these are Skype sessions, these are face-to-face -face meetings, and these are written feedback dates, okay? And then during spring break and during final submissions, you don't actually have any kind of feedback, okay? All right, so I'll go ahead and close out of that. So this is all the information on turn in just in summary format, but to understand that more in depth, we'll go ahead and see how it's laid out in the schedule. So if we go to week one, we look here, there's a range date. So it tells us when the week starts and when the week ends and the assignment is due. So if we open it up, we can look here and we can get an idea of the things that we need to look at. So first we'll introduce you to the project. You'll be able to look at the assignment sheet here. You'll be able to look at the grade sheet for that assignment here. And then you'll be able to look at the project as an overview example here, okay? Then uh, it'll tell you what the homework is. So for instance, it tells you that we need to select a client and create a selection cover page and also a creative brief and three user profiles. And then it will give you lessons for those homeworks here and the assigned reading for the week. So you can go and look for each of those sections here and it'll give you a little bit of a summary about what that's about. And then you can go ahead and click on the lecture for it and you can go through the lecture. It'll tell you what type of documentation you'll be creating, that you'll be searching for a client, that type of thing. So you can go ahead and just read through the lecture and then it'll give you an example of what that might look like, okay? So this is a cover page for your client selection, okay? So that's the example. We'll go ahead and close out of that. The same thing for your creative brief. It will give you a lecture you'll read all the information on the lecture and then at the end it will give you an example of what that looks like okay same thing for user profiles and then it gives you the reading to do in terms of how you submit these and when you'll get critique or whether we need to meet for skype that information is here so it'll tell you on wednesday the 18th by 8 a.m this is due It'll tell you to go in here into La Lima for more turn in details. And then it'll also tell you that we're going to meet on whatever particular day your slotted time is at. You can click here for your slotted time and it'll have your name listed on here in the time that we're meeting. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. So just to get more details on how to turn this in, once you complete all of the work, you can click on here, log into La Lima. So that should land you in assignments. Once you're here, you'll see the assignments that are currently open. Sometimes it'll be one open or two open, depending, make sure that you submit in the correct assignment. So you go ahead and click on it. When you get in here, it'll go over the information. It'll tell you the name of the assignment, when it's due, how many submissions you can resubmit and up to when. It will also give you the amount of points that it's worth. And then it'll give you um, instructions here. So in this area here, the instructions I'll detail exactly what I want you to turn in and how I want you to name it, okay? So I'm very particular about this. So please focus and really try to follow these posting instructions. It helps keep you organized and it helps keep me organized on the receiving end of these documents, okay? All right, so it'll go in here. It tells you what you will turn in. It says upload the InDesign document to this assignment. 
and you're going to name it your name, company name, client docs week one in design. And that's what you'll be submitting down below. Okay. Now you don't have to go and package it or anything. It's up to you if you want to do that, but I'm not requiring it. Um, I do ask for you guys to turn in your original because one, I can take a look at whether or not you've been setting up your files correctly. Two, I can easily uh, move things around and give you feedback on it if necessary. And then also third, it serves as a backup in case you do lose your files, something happens on your computer, then I have a backup of them, okay? And then it'll also tell you to post an exported PDF to your website, okay? So when you have this InDesign document, you're going to export PDFs out of it, and then you're going to name them a certain file name, okay? But on the surface, you're going to name it something else. So when we go and click on your course website, it's going to be named something, but the file name that it's linked to is going to be named this here. So you can look at the student example. And if we look here, this is the name that I told you to name kind of on the surface that we see, but the actual file that it's linked to, if we click on it, is this name here, the one with the PDF at the end, okay? So I tell you exactly how I want things named, both on the surface and then also within that as your file name. And the priority reason for this is because you're going to be submitting this stuff in your course website. And when you start loading things onto your course website, you need to be very careful about your naming conventions so that you don't accidentally replace files with other files, okay? So those are the posting instructions right there. I also tell you if you have any specific questions, you can type them in the text box below. You can always link here back to the website and just click on the correct tab. It'll link you back to the website schedule and take a look at it. The other suggestion that I give is that you always see the model answer below so that you can get a sense for how the assignment will be graded. So you have the option to click here and you can look at it. And basically I'm gonna give you credit for posting PDF to your course website and then also for having them as part of the InDesign file in Laulima and then also other things that I'm looking at in terms of content and typography and design and things like that. Also information on there is reminder of late penalties and receiving feedback on late work and whatnot. Okay, so make sure to take a look at that. All right, so this is the submission box. What you would do here is you would say, you know, if you had a question like, can you give me specific feedback on my client and if it was a good choice? Also, I'm not sure about the font. Do you have any suggestions, okay? Now, you don't have to type anything in here if you don't want to. It's just if you do have some questions or concerns or things that you know you want to address during our Skype session, if we have one, or that you want me to respond to if it's a written feedback week, okay? So you can type that in here, and then you'll just go in here, and you'll choose your file, whatever it was that was due, and you can just go and browse for it. And it was your InDesign file, so we'll go ahead and look for it here. And of course, yours will actually be renamed with your actual name on it. I'm just using this as an example. And it's the InDesign file that goes in the assignment. Once it's attached, you can go ahead and submit it. Or if you're still working on it and you want to come back to it, you can save it as a draft. But once you do save it as a draft, just make sure to come back and submit because otherwise I cannot access it and it gets kind of stuck in the system. So go ahead and submit. And then what will happen here is it'll give you a confirmation, but it will also email you a confirmation letting you know that you have submitted your work. So make sure to check your email and make sure that it went through, okay? All right, so back to the list here. Once I get it, I will review it and I will grade it. Sometimes I will provide you with written feedback in it. Sometimes I'll just remind you that we already went through your feedback during our Skype session, but either way it will be graded and returned. When it is graded, it'll return a notice to you automatically to your UH email, letting you know that the assignment has been graded and then you can go back and look at it. And basically you just log in, go back into assignments. And if you click on the assignment, once it's been graded, you'll see all the instructions, the model answers, but down here, instead of being able to submit, what you'll see is additional instructor comments about your submission, and then you'll see basically what I've written to you, and then a breakdown of the grading, all right? Now, if there are attachments that I return with comments and feedback, then you would see them attached down below, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and close out of that. 
So those are on weeks that we have just normal submission where it just goes into La Lima and posted to your website. Now there are other weeks like on week here, design round one, where we have an online critique with your peers. So on this week, it'll also give you turn in details and you'll be reminded of how to turn things in earlier that day at eight o'clock. But it also reminds you right here that you have to go back and critique the work of your peers by 11.55 p.m. in La Lima discussions. So if you click right here, it'll take you into the different critiques and you can click on the critique. And if you go in here, it says critique instructions, post your reply here, you just click in here. And in here is where you would provide feedback to your peers and there's instructions in here. So basically you'd be able to go here to where the student work is. You'd be able to click on each student and look at their work. And once you've looked at enough, you decide on who it is that you want to provide feedback on. You'd go to this post and it gives you examples here. You'd post a reply and basically you'd choose three students that you'd want to comment on and then you'd give them positive and feedback for improvement on all their different things that they turned in. Okay, so there's instructions and an examples in here. There's a template you could copy if to make it a little bit easier. All right, so we'll go ahead and close out of that. All right, additionally, on those weeks, even though you get peer feedback, you will also be reminded that you have Skype sessions as well. Okay. All right, so that pretty much concludes your lesson on homework, turn in and feedback. If you have any questions, please be sure to contact me.